Problem number two. Create and solve a story problem about one-fourth pound of almonds or a quarter pound of almonds that is modeled by the diagram below. So here in this diagram, you guys, it shows that we have one-fourth right here. This is a diagram of one-fourth. So what is the whole or dividend in this problem? You got it, one-fourth. So the whole is one-fourth in this problem. That's what we're going to start with, remember? When we divide, we start with our whole. One-fourth pound, I can't forget to label, pound, one-fourth pounds, okay? What else can you tell about this tape diagram? Good, you guys. That one-fourth is being cut into or divided by one, two. Ooh, I'm going to erase those. I'm going to do my highlighter. One, two, three, four, five parts. So one-fourth is being divided or cut into five equal parts. Parts. There are five boxes there. Okay, so what is your expression going to be? We have to find out how much of a whole pound of almonds is in each of the units. So what is our expression going to be? You got it, you guys. It's one-fourth, good job, divided by five parts. One-fourth divided by five parts. Okay? I noticed that some of you were thinking about multiplication here. What multiplication expression would also give us the part that has the question mark? This is the same thing as, what's that multiplication expression? One-fourth times one-fifth. Good. So you can use either one of these expressions in order to solve. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to pause the video and I want you to create your own story problem about one-fourth pound of almonds that is divided into five equal parts. Then you will check your answer and unpause the video. So pause your video. Create your problem. All right, so I thought about my own story problem. And my story problem was about... Mrs. Meeks, who wanted to make almond milk at home. So she made almond milk at home with a one-pound bag of almonds. And it was really, really tasty. When she was done, she had a quarter pound of the bag of almonds left. She wanted snacks of almonds for five days from Monday through Friday. So from that quarter pound of almonds, she wanted it separated equally into little baggies of almond snacks that she could take to work for each day of the week. So how many pounds of almonds were in each bag of her almond snacks? No, that was a long, crazy story. That is just one that came out of the top of my head right now without even really thinking about it. Okay, so I have a quarter pound of almonds left, and I want to cut that quarter pound of almonds into five equal baggies. Okay? So, let's solve this. We get one over 20. Remember you multiply straight across on the numerator. 
straight across on the denominator. One twentieth of a pound. One twentieth of a pound. So each snack bag is one twentieth of a pound. So how can we check our work? How can we check our work now? How do I know that this is correct? How do I know that one twentieth of a pound is correct? How can I check my work? Very, very good, you guys. You remembered. You have to multiply the answer and the divisor. The answer and our divisor. So here's our answer. 1 20th of a pound. And we have to multiply the divisor. So 1 20th times 5 is the same thing as 5 20ths, which is the same thing as 1 4th. And your answer here should be the hole that you started with. So we are correct.